Hello, hello, and welcome back to the RB podcast with me, Susie, and me, Nessie. <laughs> <laughs> We're so happy to have you here, either on YouTube or in the podcast format on Spotify or iTunes or wherever you're listening. It's been a really fun podcasting lately. We're on a good roll, I think. Yeah. We even um, have this professional YouTube camera YouTubing us. <laughs> <laughs> It's still kind of DIY, like we're doing all the production. Well, we have a production house for the actual podcast, but um, the YouTube is all my own editing, which yeah. you can see it's not perfect, but it's working for now. Yeah. We love it, and we thank you so much for your feedback. It's super cool to see you sending us little videos or pictures of you listening to the podcast while you're at home or doing something. Mm. So today we have a episode in the spirit of actually the month of the membership in December. Yes. So a little sneak peek of what's to come in December is, can I share it? Yeah, share it. <laughs> it's going to be joy month in the RB membership. We are dedicating a whole month to joy, to gratitude, to giving, because it can be a stressful month and we want to completely shift the perspective mm. and come into alignment together and also really feel into this community vibe when you give to each other and you know how good it, good it feels to help each other out yeah and you've crafted i've just read the description of the month you crafted the most incredible month yeah <laughs> with really amazing guests mm. so today's podcast is going to build on that yes it's all about joy yeah and fun. And fun. Because we're also doing our 2025 vision board for our company. Yeah. We did that yesterday or the day before. Mm. I actually invited you for a day of reset and uh, bringing more just creativity back into our job. Mm. Because we have been working our tiny asses off <laughs> <laughs> in like hard tasks my and ass ain't <laughs> <laughs> and um, it felt like there had been a while since we did something where it just felt joyful yeah so I said pack your bags <laughs> <laughs> we're going on holiday we're going on holiday no we went surfing yeah and then we had so nice waves yeah it was incredible and then we went home and I had planned to have a meditation mm -hmm. where we're working on, you know, the biggest trigger in the company and then each individually going into it. And we have this method where we um, can heal the trigger. And then we had a vision board fun activity where we wrote down you know the core values of our company and our biggest manifestation goals for 2025 yeah <laughs> and then we had lunch <laughs> yeah we had planned a bit more but then time kind of ran out yeah but it was such a nice day mm. and i truly believe in the piece of valuable information that i think we learned from billy a while back billy lufang mm. co coach and energy teacher mm that your business is like its own entity mm. with its own energy and it needs to be valued it needs to be seen and held it needs to be filled with joy and appreciation mm. and not taken advantage of it needs to have good boundaries it needs to have everything as, as we do really to thrive it's like another kid yeah like yeah but it's now <laughs> right from mature so kind of it's in a new era but yeah yeah that. but it's all, also always shifting and changing which mm. is why it's so good to do this every once in a while to update your values update your vision mm. update the whole offer suite like we've changed so much mm. and we're making some really big changes coming up yeah which feels really good <laughs> feels great but also sad yeah as it does when you make bold decisions yes so Speaking of joy, today we thought it would be fun for you guys to get us to get to know us better, and uh, maybe not in the deep way we usually always share on this podcast. <laughs> but let's see, we always go deep. But 
just in a more fun light way and uh, so we're gonna take a sister challenge quiz called who's most likely to sister edition <laughs> so this is gonna be fun maybe it would we... be so fun if our listeners could guess um, first first but i guess that's not possible but okay we'll give you a little moment before we reply so you, you <laughs> can guess and you can see how much you know us yeah, yeah. maybe you know more than we know mm. ourselves okay so we're on who's most likely.com <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just gonna do a little bit of selection from yeah. the sister the quiz here. Shall we just start? Let's go. First, I want to ask you actually a question. What has brought you most joy lately? Surfing. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's been almost a month without surfing due to... Almost a month? No, we surfed together a few weeks ago. Mm, yeah, one... I don't know, it's, that's a month ago. Really? Yeah. Oh. Because I haven't had time, and um, the one Saturday where I had a babysitter, the waves were huge. So, so happy to surf and to have waves, and it just brought me immense joy. And when I, when it's like a good session, you're like, that's all I want to do. <laughs> yeah, I'll quit my job. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just surf. <laughs> oh, that's good. And then you get one bad wipe on, you're like, oh, I need to go. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's that's something that brought me a lot of joy this week. Mm, that's good. And the sunshine. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, definitely that. Um, and also the random fun things that our kids keep doing. <laughs> There's so much joy that they bring up every single day. Yeah. And yeah, just seeing Rafe like on his first birthday, <laughs> running around in his <laughs> little not tracksuit but what's it called dungaree yeah <laughs> and uh just i don't know those you know those small moments mm. in the day-to-day -day where you just crack up of yeah they're so your strange <laughs> yeah and they just have such imaginations so yeah. that brings me a lot of joy yeah rafe stopped with a binky smoke when he was seven months and last week he found his old one and he just put it in his mouth and walks around you know he has a little Big belly, and it's like, I'm starting again. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then I'm thinking, what's going through your mind? Yeah. I tried to make you use this, but he just, he, he doesn't even like it now. But I think he's seen someone in kindergarten use it, and he wants Probably. to try. <laughs> yeah. Starts yeah. early. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. They have their own whole, they have their own totally unique personality, which you can see already from babies. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Um, who's most likely? So who is most likely to eat the last slice of pizza without anyone knowing? <laughs> I'm going to say you. No, <laughs> yes. that's you. Well, if it was chocolate, it would be you. Yeah, I think we have shared. You will have the pizza when you're up with Rafe at night. Yeah, yeah. that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> I will have all the chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's likely? Who's most likely to trip over their own feet while walking? <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, that is true. Actually, You're I've done so many clumsy things the past twenty-four hours. You wouldn't believe it. Have you ever told the story on the podcast when you tripped on a red carpet? No. Yes, I think so. And it wasn't like a you know blogger event, red carpet. It was Will Smith. It was. Oh my god. Um, some else people. <laughs> the star of um, Emily in Paris. Yeah. yeah. She was the star of that ah, movie. Oh, she was. She was there. What's her name again? Lily. Lily Collins. Yeah. Yeah. That story can be saved for another day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you can share it if you want. Okay, so we were in Fredrikstad for the premiere of Karate Kid 2. Yeah, maybe it was Karate Kid 2. And. Um, Harald Svart is a good childhood friend of our mom. So he's the director. He's the director. And he managed to get Will Smith and his whole family and all of these celebrities to come to Fredrikstad. Yeah. Which is really fun. And we were invited to the red carpet. And were they actually there? Yeah. They were there. I can't even remember that. It's really? crazy. I remember Lily Collins was there. I think actually it's been two different times. Yeah, I think we're mixing up two stories now. One with 
Don Johnson. No. <laughs> no, that's a whole other. That's <laughs> correct. No, that's a <laughs> lange flatte ballet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's not the story. Mm. But anyways, yeah. it was a whole red carpet, lots yeah. of lots of photographers, lots of crowd. And then there's like one short uh, line where you're supposed to walk. And <laughs> I walked in front and then suddenly you hear everybody like <gasps> <laughs> And then you hear click 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 of like time stuff. Yeah. And then you're like flat on your whole stomach, I think. Yeah. With my butt <laughs> With in the butt air. Out. Oh my god. <laughs> and, I and I had two friends. And they were so embarrassed of you. Yeah. <laughs> no, Tea wasn't embarrassed. No. Peter was embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. But you took it well. You didn't cry. I think I laughed so much, but actually thinking about it now, <laughs> I think the laughter was kind of a trauma response. <laughs> reading this book that we're reading now but yeah. kids it says that you release you laugh sometimes when you release fear yeah <laughs> that's hilarious yeah because i just laughed and laughed and laughed and i couldn't stop <laughs> yeah and you were like are you okay <laughs> i was like yeah Funny. Yeah, I remember I was shaking afterwards, oh. and I was thinking like, how many cameras am I on? <laughs> there were probably a thousand fourteen-year-olds with digital cameras, but nobody posted anything. No. Anyways, and this nobody was surprised. No, I also tripped this morning, and I also spilled the golden milk powder, yellow, everywhere, mm. and I spilled milk. Yeah, it's been a bit clumsy today. Yeah, <laughs> just today. <laughs> just today. Who is most likely to talk to animals as if they understand every word? I think both. <laughs> yeah. I think we're both a bit like nerdy on animal communication. Yeah. Because I do think animals understand a lot. Yeah, and we will both talk to our pets as if they are not people, but that they communicate. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to animal communicators. Out there. Yeah. No, I think seriously that's a very cool topic and yeah. I would love to learn more about it. It would be cool to have an animal communicator on the podcast. Yeah, if there's anyone listening or you know someone, please recommend because that's one of the most fascinating things that exist. Yeah. I follow this girl on TikTok who has grown up inside of a lion sanctuary. Oh in Africa yeah. and her and her parents run this place where they recover I don't know from maybe injuries or something mm. and like she's cuddling with lions the lion in the chest wow it's just incredible to watch yeah and there's also a lot on TikTok with animal communication of people interpreting for example <coughs> a gorilla who gets really angry or something and then mm. they manage to communicate and like calm him down and Mm. There's so s much similarities to us. Horses as well. Oh yeah. Very easy, I would say, to communicate with. Yeah. Yeah, this topic I feel like we need to go more into. Yeah. Who is most likely to binge watch an entire TV series in a single day? Me. <laughs> yeah. You don't watch something, and then you, when you first watch something, you watch all of it. Yeah, I, I can go probably a year without watching <laughs> anything, <laughs> and then I find one thing I like. Whilst I will watch one, maybe whole episode, like, a day, Yeah, and then slowly but surely work through a series <laughs> over time. Yeah. What I don't was know the what last series you binged? Vikings. Hmm. Have you seen what if it's worth it or something no with adam Brody. need to it's very i cute. don't think i ever say yes when people ask me have you seen that have you seen that no it's really cute i highly recommend just for pleasure and just switching your brain off and yeah. enjoying speaking of fun <laughs> speaking of fun <laughs> who's My most likely goes to bed at 10 p.m at night so yeah. uh, there ain't no time for netflix no no i understand you can do it in the morning <laughs> 
Who is most likely to accidentally lock themselves out of the house? You. Yeah. I actually did that the other day. Mm. I could not find the spare key. Oh. But it was actually in its place. Right. You've also locked yourself out. Yeah. No. But your maid me. locked you out. My maid? <laughs> your house cleaner. Yeah. I that had cleaned a your house. Yeah. <laughs> a few times after renting out. After I rent out, I, I had her come over and uh, they locked the key inside and then the next person was coming and uh, no key. Oh gosh. But I actually, for the first time in my life, lost my keys. First mm. time. And I think it was because it was one of those nights where Ape didn't want to sleep and then I'm pretty sure I put the key on the top of my car mm. and then I drove. Oh, mm. yeah. So. A classic place to put stuff like smoothies and coffee yeah. and <laughs> keys. <laughs> Don't put your kid there. <laughs> do not do that, no. <laughs> this is easy one. <laughs> Who is most likely to spend hours taking the perfect selfie? <laughs> I know you want to say me, but when would I ever spend hours? Okay, not hours, but who spends the most time taking the perfect selfie? I think you. <laughs> no. If we see who has the most selfies between me and you, it's you. I rarely take selfies. No, you do. No, you do. <laughs> Okay. If it was to look in the mirror or I something, think, I would say, yeah, okay. I think but it's you. I don't take him any selfies. No, okay. Maybe not. Who... <laughs> Who is most likely to get lost in their own neighborhood? <laughs> I don't know. Me? Or you? I think me. I think you. Yeah. I like to say that I have a really good sense of direction. Mm. But at the same time, I can get so lost. Yeah, I'm so lost. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to start dancing randomly in public? <laughs> Me. You did that yesterday, actually. I did. Didn't you? Yeah. After I surfing. <laughs> <laughs> I was very happy. Um, who's most likely to forget someone's birthday? Me. Yeah. I think so. I sadly did the other day. It's not fun. No. But I usually have them in my calendar, so I can remember. Yeah. It's okay. You're a great friend anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> who is most likely to win a reality TV show? <laughs> if, I don't know. <laughs> I think you could do that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. What reality TV show would you attend? Maybe something travelly. Where you, yeah. Nothing scary, nothing. Or maybe some kind of sports. Mm. I don't know. I don't rot, don't watch a lot of. I would definitely never do any of those. Lock yourself in a cage and find <laughs> the key thing. No, no. Nothing scary. Nothing with ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There are many reality shows with ghosts. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing with them, um, like Big Brother style. Mm. What would you do? I've always dreamt of being on Paradise Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here's your chance. <laughs> Does that still exist? I'm not sure. No. Um, I don't think I've ever had a dream of being on reality TV. No. Um, and yeah. I don't watch it a lot. But I always thought it would be so fun to have a reality TV show of like our lives. Yeah. And that I would sign up for. Yeah, true. But <gasps> Do you remember we got that request once? Yeah, we did. Oh my god. We were asked to be on a show for um, Via Play, I think. Yeah. And they were following four or five different um, influencers. Mm. And uh, in the end, we said no. Yeah didn't feel like it was truly aligned no imagine if we had said yes like what would the trajectory be yeah if it wasn't aligned then but it wouldn't be a great result yeah i haven't even heard of the show so i don't know if no maybe it didn't ever happen yeah but that was but that's something i would say yes to yeah true even though i don't know <laughs> how much fun it would be to Actually. watch but I think it's very fun when for example we're with our whole big family and yeah there are very many aspects of our lives that I think people would 
be so that would be very fun to look in on yeah the thing is that when i watch for example people on youtube i don't like necessarily to watch the people who do the most crazy spontaneous travel like everything always something new i like Mm. really day-to-day grounded like family stuff what people do for work or yeah uh just to get insight into people's lives and their personalities and it doesn't have to change massively from week to week either Mm. it's just cozy yeah um and who's like most likely to adopt a dozen pets (laughs) (laughs) Probably me. <laughs> yeah. You were about to adopt a cat not long ago. Yes. Wasn't aligned. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't. Um, yeah, yeah, I have adopted a dog. We don't know. Yeah, true. And uh, I love her. But right now she's with another family because um, my life was a bit too chaotic for her. Yeah. But she is having the best time. So mm. hopefully we will be together again soon yeah. when uh, I'm more capable but I love animals and yeah she's a blind dog yeah she was born blind um Your sweetheart love at first sight but of course a little more demanding um not in like that she needs so much but a little more demanding in actually in communication you need to communicate with her yeah she needs to feel safe yeah she feels maybe a little bit more often scared she's nervous. more but that's more protective maybe more protective well actually it just happened after she had puppies and then i got pregnant there was a lot of hormonal things that i think was stressful for her so that's um, i saw that she didn't have the best time with me and rafe and awake in the night and then traveling and then came back and she got um like blood in her stool yeah and i knew it came from stress yeah and i just felt like i couldn't reach both rafe and her at the same time with what she truly needed yeah and by the luck of the universe found the most amazing woman who uh, Mm. she's with now and honestly i visited her in norway and i've never seen her just shine and be so she's looked amazing (laughs) and i miss her every day Um, yeah yeah but yes uh once my life starts to truly align i will probably live on a farm with a dozen pets <laughs> yeah same that is actually a vision for the future mm. noah also fell in love with ronnie at first sight my dog they made puppies <laughs> yeah i watched the video of them the other day when they met for the very first time really and he was just like he was in awe yeah trying to communicate with her yeah trying to lick her and she was just a couple of weeks old so she didn't really understand what was going on and he was grown up and he was like come on let's play let's it's so cute oh i miss her so much yeah okay what that was the same ones again um who is most likely to laugh at inappropriate moments (laughs) <laughs> I feel like that's me. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're a bit more like I don't care, maybe. Not that you don't care, but you're a bit more like. How to do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, but I think that's more teenage me. <laughs> yeah, probably. I feel like I care a lot more now. Yeah. <laughs> Who's most likely to spend hours perfecting their TikTok dance? You. <laughs> We both did that. <laughs> but you have this TikTok dream. Yeah. You, no. You want to be a TikTok no. dancer. <laughs> no. Yes, you do. No, I just want to have one viral dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we rehearsed a bit two summers ago. <laughs> and let's say we never posted any video. No. Are people still dancing on TikTok? I think so. I don't know. I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> no, me neither. I am, but I'm I'm not kind mm. of. I'm like not there. Who's most likely to forget someone's name two seconds after being introduced? Me, and me, especially since pregnancy. Yeah. In one ear, out the other. <laughs> also because, as a mom. Often you meet other moms with kids, and then you introduce kid and mom, mm-hmm. and then you get two names, and then you say two names, and it's just. It's just a mess. 
it's just a mess. Uh, no, but it's I can't remember it. No, I I feel that I have to remember the name. It has to be a person. Like it has to be someone I know. Of yeah. course, I never heard their name. <laughs> but one of the most stressful things I know is remembering names. Yeah, because I don't want to uh, say the wrong name, and then I'm so scared of making the other person feel bad. Yeah, I think because I've had that happen in, in childhood or something like that. Mm. That probably a teacher didn't remember my name. I just felt so horrible. Oh, yeah. So it actually means a lot. Yeah. So I, I would rather not. I don't know. And then it's just like blank. Because something that I really like and appreciate is when people remember your name and they use it in conversation. Yes, exactly. I want to be that person. And you feel so but seen. I just, I just uh, I'm so scared of saying the wrong name. Yeah, so then yes, it's Janet. How are you, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's Jess. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. but I that is a trick. Mm. That when they say their name, then you have to repeat it. Yeah, you say, hi, Janet, I'm Suzanne. Yeah, nice to meet you, Janet. How are you, Janet? <laughs> then you have to use You've it. said it three times, <laughs> then yeah. you will most likely remember it. Yeah, but it's a thing about confidence, I feel. Oh, definitely. Yeah, often like confident or charismatic people use your name mm. and they dare to say it a lot, even if it's a chance that it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's an interesting balance. Like, should you risk it being right mm. and maybe offending them if it's wrong and feeling embarrassed yourself mm. or actually risk it being right and really making a good conversation? Or Yeah. I need some tips on how to remember names. I just gave you one. Yeah, true. Hi, Janet. Nice to meet you, Janet. How are you? <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Who's most likely to accidentally send a text to their crush instead of their friend? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's you. Mm, that's never happened. No? No. Me neither. No. No. Stupid question. No. Who's most likely to have the most colorful wardrobe? That's me. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, I do appreciate color. <laughs> <laughs> I just ordered a pink sweater on Vinted. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, who is most likely to win a Nobel Prize? I think you can win one on your proliferation. Mm. <laughs> <t> <laughs> I want to say dissertation. <laughs> Clearly not me, no. <laughs> Can you repeat what you said? <laughs> On your master thesis, <laughs> could win you a Nobel Prize. <laughs> no? No. Um, actually, it was one of my biggest dreams <laughs> to win the Nobel Prize. I felt like then you had made it. Yeah, you um. kind of have. <laughs> to win the Peace Prize. Yeah. That was my goal. It was like, yeah. and I really, really, my whole career was set out like, how? <laughs> how can you have a career and a life where you can help someone so you can win the Nobel Peace Prize? Because that's like Mother Teresa, all of these people, Nelson Mandela. Yeah, I was super inspired when uh, I was a child. My mom borrowed these books from the library. I think they're called The Story About, like Madame Curie. Oh, they're so good. Um, you read about all of these uh, famous people who have achieved something. Uh, There's one about Mother Teresa. Yeah. And they're amazing and they're amazing for kids. Yeah. And so I was just like... I want to have a book like that. <laughs> was that what you were thinking? No, but that's... I was so inspired. I wanted to be like these people, you know. Mm. There's still time. <laughs> I think my perception of... Um, Success has changed a bit, yeah. Yeah. True. True. Um, Who is most likely to have an epic karaoke duet? Maybe you? <laughs> yeah, maybe, because I do love to sing. Yeah. Even though it's not. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I just love to sing for the joy of it. Yeah. Who is most likely to accidentally break something valuable? You. Yeah. And also, yeah, actually, I've been busy with um, 
we talked about <coughs> earlier. <coughs> Clumsiness. Yeah. I don't think I've ever broken something really expensive, though. I just remember very vividly that I broke that glass you broke vase yeah. at Grandma's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it was very expensive. That was probably very expensive. But uh, my, our grandpa hated, hated it, so he was so happy. <laughs> yeah, true. We were throwing indoors a ball. It was a, I remember it so clearly. Do you remember the toy? Yeah. It was an elephant, yeah, that but it has like pulley things. Yeah. And we were throwing it back and forth across a bunch of <laughs> glass vases. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> that grandma had so dear yeah. yeah and she had so many like selected curated items from across the world mm. and That's since they were have two kids throwing <laughs> yeah indoors she probably didn't know we were doing it no, no. and then i threw it to you and then i smashed this big box <laughs> and i went into a crisis <laughs> <laughs> i remember you said yeah. I said, sorry, 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 And then I probably started to cry. And they were so sweet. I just, I can't remember any anger or any frustration from no. their side. No, not at all. And Grandpa, as you said, was super happy because he, he didn't like the vase. Yeah. But Grandma was, I don't know. A bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> but she never, they never were angry with us. No. All right, All right, last, last two, two questions. questions. Okay. okay. Um, oh, I need to find another one here. Who is most likely to be most sensitive? You. <laughs> what do you think mean? <laughs> <laughs> I think I you're think most likely to exist express more your sensitivity yeah and i'm more likely to just take it home and deal with it myself <laughs> probably but i think you're also very sensitive just in a very different way yeah it's very i think mine is more like heart on your sleeve kind of sensitivity mm. and yours is more introspective maybe but we both have sensitivity in the form of reading energy Picking up nuances, sensing emotions, all of these kind of things. Mm. Which is so interesting mm -hmm. to learn about. And it's actually such a big gift yeah. that we both use in our valuable work every day. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it can make you feel like you're not <laughs> in the right world. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <coughs> like you're somewhere... Yeah. Like you should live in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> and just be with animals. Mm. It's literally how I feel sometimes. Can I not be anywhere? <laughs> yeah, sometimes everything is too much. Mm. But And often so when you don't expect it. Mm. Sometimes I feel like, oh, today I feel so robust. I feel ready to go out in the world. And then I can meet some people and I just feel like, wow, like my energy feels drained. Mm. And then home, nap, reset. Clear the energy, follow some of the spray, <laughs> shower. No biggie. <laughs> we can talk about that, could be its own episode actually. Mm. Okay. Um, who, this is the last question, who is most likely to cry during a sad movie? You. And you also over the years? Yeah. Would you still not cry during movies? Not really. But um, the last weeks, uh, driving back and forth to kindergarten, I was listening to Adele. Oh. The album she made when she's going through divorce. Oh my gosh. And she's um, made some songs for her son. Oh my god, I <laughs> started to cry just singing. Oh. And. Um, Oh, it, the, the song just goes straight into my heart. It's like she wrote it for me. And um, yeah, mm. when I need a good cry, I put it on and I drive. And mm. it's, it's so good. <laughs> oh, I have to listen. Yeah. I also heard the other day Eminem, new album. Mm -hmm. And he has made a song to Hayley. Yeah. Have you heard it? Mm. About how she's going to feel when he's gone. Mm. Oh, I, I, what's it called? Hulkit. Bald. I bald. 
I cried so much. Yeah. Crazy how music can make you feel the exact emotion that they have felt when they were making it. Mm. That's a, the beautiful thing about emotions and artists. You know, they tune in and then they touch like millions of people because yeah. we all are the same. Yeah, and we can feel that specific vibration mm. if we were open to it. Mm. Yeah. This ended really sad. <laughs> No, oh. it's very, very good to cry. Yeah, it's amazing. It actually feels so good. Yeah. All Let right. Let me see if, if there was any last... <laughs> Who's most likely to make their mom cry <laughs> without <laughs> trying? We're not going to do that one. So no. <clears throat> Although that would probably be me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to... Be protective of their sibling. Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, lovely listeners. We're going to end this episode here. Yes. Um, I'm very curious to how many of them you got right, if you managed to reply before we said something. Yeah. Or if you heard the difference in our voices. <laughs> True. On YouTube you can. Yeah. Thank you for listening and uh, looking forward to catching up next week.